Welcome to the Blue Sea Food Company and our 2024 campaign for the Great British Sandwich. We've already made uh, a, a standard, beautiful, traditional Great British Sandwich here. Um, and we've talked about being able to make eight out of a one pound pack, sell them in your restaurant, cafe, bar for 10 pounds a, a sandwich. And you'll still be able to get your multiple buying from the wholesale, seafood wholesalers that we supply around the country. The next one we're going to make is, a, is another classic, but it's a take on the lobster roll. As we all know, lobster is really expensive, unbelievably expensive if you're buying British ones, and not as tasty as we would all like if you're buying American or Canadian ones. So we're gonna make a, a, a typical crab sandwich, a crab equivalent of a lobster roll. So I've got the crab, the, the, um, the, the crab meat, some mayonnaise, some lemon, and some pepper in here. What the Americans add to a lot of this um, a lot of their rolls, their lobster rolls, is a little bit of crunch from some celery. Um, so I've chopped finely some celery in here and I've, I'm adding that. Um, this is a very simple, I believe this is a Louisiana version. And I'm going to pile that into the roll. I've used a brioche roll, which is uh, obviously quite trendy now. Everyone will get hold of plenty of them. Use fingers. Don't want to waste that bit. Okay. So there is a simple crab roll with some uh, sliced celery and mayonnaise. You could add to that and just put the tiniest little pinch of Old Bay spice on top of it. Now we have another one, Millie, if you'll follow me over here. What I've got over here is the other style of American lobster roll, which we're going to make with crab again. We've got some melted butter. We've got a little bit of um, garlic in there and put some crab meat in. And I'm going to mix that and just warm that gently through in, in the melted butter. Who doesn't like garlic butter and seafood? And again, very common in, in America, I'm going to use a little pinch of Old Bay Spice, which just lifts it. And I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice in. It's on a very low heat, so there'll be no problems with that. I'm going to just give a final little warm through, toss through, so all the flavours have gone in. That's it. And then I'm going to take my roll again. And I'm going to stuff it with my crab. As we said before, we've got, this is pasteurised crab. We're very careful, just like your milk, it's very gently pasteurised. And yes, fresh hand-picked crab meat is amazing. However, when you're making these sandwiches, pasteurised crab meat mix can be equally delicious. And I think what I'd probably do with that is put another little pinch of um, Old Bay on top because it's delicious and then perhaps I would uh, add some chives if I had some available to me at the moment. Little additions to all these, we could add some uh, tomato salsa into, into the crab sandwich, that always lifts it, makes it a little bit different. Of course you could add some chives through this, some parsley through this, um, you could have some avocado to either of these as well, loads of different options. But what we're looking to try and achieve through these simple crab sandwiches it's something that is profitable for the restaurant, the cafe, the bar, but also delicious and a bit interesting. Um, and of course, quick and simple to make in, uh, in, in, your, uh, in your kitchen. OK, thanks very much. Again, please send us any recipe ideas, send us any photos of anything you're doing. Send us pictures of people enjoying the crab that you serve in your establishment. And of course, as well, get in touch at David at Devil Crab for any information you want about crab in general, from sustainability to fishing, processing, to ideas for your restaurant. Thank you very much indeed, and uh, we'll be back very soon with some more recipes.